Okay, y'all, first off, if you see a white cord, it's because I'm charging my phone because I forgot to charge it last night. Secondly, this video is about taking breaks. Um, at Hood, we talked about taking sabbaticals and taking a break. And a sabbatical is just like a vacation. And lately, I have been doing that even more so since I've been at Hood because they're really stressing um, the life of a preacher and a pastor and running yourself um, ragged all the time where you're always on the go and you're taking care of your family and stuff like that and sometimes you just forget to take care of yourself and I know as women sometimes we put emphasis on our families and our friends and taking care of them that we neglect ourselves sometimes so that is what this video is about. I want you guys to make sure that you take care of yourself. Um, take a sabbatical. Get away. Sometimes it's really good for the body, the mind, the spirit. I know when it comes to myself, um, I overthink a lot. I try not to do that, but I do. I overthink a lot. And... I also am so invested in my family and their lives and helping them or whatever that I forget to take care of myself. I've even missed like doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And so lately because I've been going on sabbaticals, I'll be getting back into that. So um, I've been going to, uh, I had an appointment this week and I'm going to have another one next week. So. Yeah, you guys, take care of yourself. And if you're in any kind of, like, friendship with anybody and is adding more stress than relieving stress, just eliminate yourself out of the situation. Now, I can see if they change and they're taking care of themselves and getting themselves back right. But if you see no change where they're not even attempting, they're not seeing nobody, they're not trying at all to get help or at least not trying to understand then it might be a, a relationship or a friendship that you may not need to be in because in your circle you need people that are around you that's going to support you and make you better and it's always good to grow if i can see if they're if they say that they made a mistake and they know that they made a mistake then that's one thing. But if they don't even realize they made a mistake and they're not trying to take no accountability, yeah, that's a friendship that you don't need. Some people are toxic and they're negative all the time. It's hard for them to be nice or it's hard for them to care. Those people, you may need to eliminate them out of your circle. But if you got those people in your life that's going to support you and uplift you and encourage you, that's what you need. That is what you need. And you also need people to be grown about theirs and realize when they made a mistake. I messed up. I messed up a lot. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm usually quick to say it. It may be hard for me to say, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working on it. But, I mean, it's growth where you can realize and be an adult about yours and say, you know what, I messed up. I know I messed up. But I'm doing this to get better. So... Have good people around you. Always watch your circle. It's the ones that's closest to you that hurt you the most. So watch your circle. Take a sabbatical. Take a break. And read your Bibles. Pray about it. Fast. Meditate. I know in my family when we fast, as a unit, as a family, it literally breaks strongholds. So those things that was keeping you bound, they break. So learn to fast. Learn to pray more. Read your Bibles. Get a relationship with God. If nobody else can help any situation, God can do it. And if God can't do it, then it can't be fixed, bro. So, y'all take care of yourselves. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you. Take a sabbatical, take a vacation, get away, and come back to it. I know before I, took, I, wrote, before I wrote my book, I did that. I took a break from it, and I came back to it, and I wrote it.
So, like, click, share, comment. I hope this is encouraging you today. Please re, uh, re watch it. I got 109 subscribers now. Subscribers, so it is so great to uh, to see that. To God be the glory for everything that he's doing in my life. And he's going to do it in yours too. So God bless you.